All right, Coach, uh, it's August, so it's fall camp. Just talk about the beginning of fall camp. Um, well, we got started this morning, 7 a.m., um, did our yo-yo test uh, with the girls, our beep test, um, and then we went straight into um, a possession-based kind of decision-making um, training session, um, trying to teach them how to solve pressure, and um, it, was a, it was a fairly productive session. You got a lot of new faces, uh, and just talk about how to blend in all those new faces with with a, a good returning class. Well, it's 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 all about being patient. Um, I think when you're looking at maybe what 12, 13 new new players, um, we have to give them time to settle. And um, a lot of this morning was just talking about our vocabulary when we're talking, the the things that we say, the terminology that we use. Um, making sure that everyone understands um, instructions um, and, and just trying to just give them a base of, of the system and, and how it's going to work. So it's, it's like I say, it's going to take um, this next week to two weeks to, to try to get those things in place. And it's going to be a steep learning curve for, for a lot of the young players. Talk about the, the, the returning players. I know you got like Kylie back and, and, and Gabrielle. Just how comforting is to know that you've got those leaders out there? Yeah, we've got a great group of seniors um, uh, returning and um, good experienced players. You mentioned Gabby. Um, you know, she was always outstanding. She's one of those players. She gets nine out of ten every time she trains, every time she plays. And um, Izzy and uh, Izzy Spray in the middle, and, and um, you know Brianna Eads, Cynthia Bigosi. We've got a good base of guys there that. Um, can really lead the young players and, and kind of show them what it's all about and, and lay out what the expectations for them are. Talk about this being a quick camp. I think it's like 17 practices in, in, in like 10 days before you actually play somebody else. So just talk about trying to cram everything in. Yeah, I mean, that's the worst part of the job is we don't, NCAA doesn't give us enough time to get ready. It's, uh, you know, they need to look at how we structure the season and um, give us, try to give us a little bit more time. We have an awful lot of injuries in, in Division One women's soccer, and it, I think an awful lot is, a, a lot of the problems are the, the way that the, the season's set up. Um, and so we've got to get a lot done in a short period of time. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very challenging. And it's um, unfortunately for the girls, it puts them under a, a huge amount of pressure because um, the, 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 the demands physically is, is incredible. Just quickly talk about the schedule. A nice home schedule here. You open up with Sanford. You got Troy here. Just talk about the schedule this year. Yeah, I mean, we're really excited about it. It's a, it's a good competitive schedule. I always try to make the non-conference, you know, tough. Um, and we certainly, you know, we open up with Samford and, and um, uh, we have Chattanooga and Exhibition, Samford and then South Al. And, and I mean, they're great programs, all three of them. And so, you know, we'll really know where we're at um, after that, you know, kind of opening weekend. And um, we'll, we'll know exactly what we need to be working on.